Hey folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a sheet metal feature based on two shapes. One is rectangle, second is circle and we need to blend this feature all together. And fin final shape will be look similar like this picture and let's try to show you how to do it. I'd like to show you the couple of steps and then you can reuse your custom dimensions. So we will start directly from scratch and we will create new 3D model and we can call it sheet metal 001 for example and directly I will create a sheet metal. So over here we will select the sheet metal. If you come from OK the system will load necessary template based on the configuration and you can start. What we would like to do is directly create the blend feature between two sketches. So I will create a sketch directly in the blend feature and we can have a look here in the section is sketched section. If we will define we will create and select the sketch plane and as the base information we will create a first shape. So first shape will be rectangle and I will create here a couple of lines. If you need to extend the line you can use the control button and system will extend the line also here. Yep. If you will select the fillet, the system will automatically make a fillet between two selected curves and then we would like to make the mirror feature. If you would like to create a mirror feature you need to create a center line of the sketch center line and then you are able to select geometry, mirror and select the reference. Also opposite direction, select sketch, mirror around the axis or center line and system will create necessary shape. Specify your custom dimensions. Yep. So no problem. You can create your custom dimensions and set some values. Doesn't matter. Eh? This is only example. So some numbers. Yep. And also here for example 50 as example. Come from OK and first sketch is done and be careful where is your start point. So over here you can see for the blend feature the start point is here and if I will come from OK now the first sketch disappear. You are able to specify the offset value for the second sketch and in the section tab you can select that you would like to create a section 2 so only select the sketch. In the second sketch we would like to create a circle. But I have tried with the circle and it doesn't work. So we have to create almost perfect circle and we will create based on the line. So try to create the first line here. Yeah, really small one. And also here. And then specify the offset value. For example, 80 to 80. And between end points we will create a single arc. At the end of the arc we have to define the tangency and then what we would like to do again is that we will create the same length of these curves. So we will specify this is the for example 11, okay it's only for the dimensions and then I will use the equal that this edge is equal this smaller one. System asks me to delete one of these dimensions so I will delete one of them and then you can create almost perfect circle. What does it mean? You will specify that this dimension will be really small one, so 1.0.1. Yep, almost perfect circle. What does it mean? We will make the, the mirror feature on the opposite direction and also the another side, so mirror and the everything is defined. And what we need to have a look here is that we need to check the star point. That the star point has to be directly here. We can see here that it is working well. It will be not there. Use the right mouse button and select star point. Add more dimension if needed or edit values and come from OK. Now we can see that shape is ready and we are able to continue. So if I will hit the button now the first blend feature is defined and what we need to do in the sheet metal mode is to create the unbend feature. But if you would like to unbend this shape, you need to create a rip and we will create the sketched rip. So the sketch plane will be, for example, this front page and I will create the 
Repline and confirm OK. If I will confirm, everything is ready and we can validate if unbend feature is working. Perfect. So if you are able to unbend, you have defined everything properly. And also, if you would like to have a look and create a flat pattern preview, you can select this button and you can see it. Also, you are able to just choose and create the dimension or you can create instance as the family table members and then reuse this instance in the drawing. We would like to focus on the shape, what was on the picture. And what we need to do is that we would like to add a couple of flat or flange feature. Over here, I'd like to show you the difference. What does it mean? If I would like to use the flat feature, I need to know the angle. So if I will select for flat, for flat feature the edge, then you can have a look here that I really need to know the the angle what is between this surface and the created surface directly because if I will have a look in the shape the flat feature is directly from the shape from the front side yep so you need to really know the dimension so you can use the analysis and so on but I don't like to use it I would like to create directly the flange feature and one thing regarding the flat what you can see here if you will create a flat feature the system will create automatically rip here yeah and what does it mean if you would like to create the flange feature and you will select same edge you see nothing and why because the system do not create automatically the rip feature because over there is the intersection between the surfaces and I found a way that you are able to use the offset value and you can use the offset wall with respect attached edges and use the edge to part edge. So what does it mean? The system will automatically add the band and then necessary surface for the flange. Over here now you can specify the angle. Yeah. And what we need to do over there, we need to create some perpendicularity or some specification and best practices if you do it directly in the shape and sketch. Directly in the sketch, you are able to select for the dimension any reference. And for example, I'd like to create 90 degree between these selections and this new created line. I will delete original dimensions and we can specify 90 degree. And also what we are able to do is the change of the length, for example, 30. If I will confirm, it's OK. System will create first part of the necessary surface and we are able to continue. Also, for example, here will be different dimensions. So you can select flange feature and do it again. And offset, offset by add to part edge. You can change the angle a little bit and jump into shape and sketch and also in the sketch specify necessary value so now it's only up to you how you will do it and also you are able to change it really quickly if you would like to you can change the high or you can again use the constraints that everything will be same it's up to you how you will do it so confirm ok and the shape is ready simple and easy you can continue and at the end for example from the picture you know that over there was not so big value for the dimensions we are using creo parametric modeling so you can change anything where you want so what does it mean in the section one you can select edit and directly the radius 50 for example we would like to change to for example, tree, enter and regenerate and everything will be done. Have a look quickly to unbend feature so we can have a look on the unbend. Everything works properly. And if I will finish, everything is done. So if I will continue one by one, slowly and surely, we will finalize our shape and you are able to produce if you will create a drawing. It was quick example how to create the feature based on the two sections, rectangle and circle, and 
connection as the blend feature and then add the a few flange features one by one and define custom dimensions. I hope that you like this tutorial. Stay tuned, like this video, share it with your friends or donate me and I will create the new tutorial for you again. Thanks for questions, stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.